Hello everyone, Pug Time here. Today we're gonna redo oops. Today we're gonna do a review on the Lego Fire Station from Lego that came out a year ago. So here's the set. Looks um pretty cool. Uh if you're looking to buy this, you're gonna get a price of sixty dollars to buy this. And yeah. So I think we should start by with this review by reviewing all the minifigures and animals. And I just noticed something that on the side of this fire station, like right here, there's supposed to be an axe there, but it must have fell out when I was bringing it downstairs. Yeah, this is not like a storage basement I have. Yeah, sorry guys, it's gonna take a while trying to get all these figures out. Because I have them all on display uh, currently. That wasn't good. Get out of there. Fire Chief seems like he wants to stay in there. He's like, please, I don't want to do this review. I'm not doing it. Move that out of the way. There we go. So yeah, let's start with the minifigures. So we first, now before I say anything, I'm just going to call them firefighters because they do not actually show their names. So yeah, so we got firefighter number one. I'm just guessing that. Uh, you see they use the bright red helmets instead of the dark red. I actually own the other fire station from a few years ago where it has the, you know, pole and it has a fire truck that can come out. It was like a, a food stand burning thing. I don't know. It was pretty cool. But you can see him right here. Just has some fire gear on. He does not have an R face, but he has a fire symbol on his back. Yeah, sorry. I apologize if you hear my dad coughing in the background. But yeah, you can see right there, there's his face. Kind of looks like me, so maybe I'll make my custom figure of me right there. And yeah. We got the drone girl who flies the drone. So as we see, we also have an accessory right here. Uh, the drone control. You can see it has some things where you can move forward or back or anything. You can see right there it has the fire everywhere. So it's like you're actually flying the drone. So here's her right here. Get out of the way. You see she's uh, got some pants. Uh, fire pants, but she's got a normal shirt. She has a fire badge right there. She does not have a second face. She just has a happy face because all these figures are happy. <laughs> and she does have that uh, double hat piece, hair piece. That's pretty cool. Then we got the sea rescue guy, firefighter. Again, the bright red helmet. See, he's got some goggles. I swear I've seen this guy in another set. Like, he's a construction worker or something. But yeah. He's got a life vest on. It's all yellow. We could go ahead and take that off. But, here's the life vest. Bright orange. And we put his head back on and his hat. Okay, you can see right there, there you go, you got the yellow vest, he does not have anything in the front, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, then, we got the fire chief, with a golden helmet, so the fire chief always gets a gold helmet, you can see right there, it's a pretty neat golden helmet, it's not going to be rare in the future, it's a gold helmet, so yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not like Mr. Gold or a gold snow trooper. You can see right there, he's kind of safe as the drone girl, but she's, he's got a badge. Or yeah, he the girl had a badge, and he's got a tie. They're not very different. He's got some regular black pants, and yeah, pretty cool. 
And then last but not least, we got my main man, Rover. I'm naming him Rover because why not? Rover. Hey, I'm a rover. But yeah, he's got some spotted black around him and white. Yeah, it's a pretty cool dog piece. I count that as a character. So yeah. So now, this set actually has vehicles. Again, I apologize for my dad coughing. He has a really bad illness. And he's coughing like crazy. But yeah. Let's take a look at the vehicles. And the drone counts as a vehicle. So first we got the fireboat or jet ski, whatever. Just a little mini ski thing. It's not too special. Just got a handle, a place where to sit. He's got a stud shooter piece right there. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Oh, uh, we could, if you want to see this shoot, we'll make a sacrifice for this guy and shoot him. There we go. See, you saw that. All you do is just press the level down and it shoots out. But yeah, I, I never like shooting these because then you lose the piece. I, I hate losing the pieces. But yeah, there's the boat. Then we got a drone right here as uh, for the drone lady. And it does have a camera right there because, uh, you remember? But yeah, you see it has its little propellers, has little lights. You can move these. So, you know, your drone can look like this. <laughs> your drone can look like that, but it's supposed to be up. And before you say anything, you're saying, oh, I, I have this set or I watched a review. Yes, this is backwards. I don't know why. I'll fix it, maybe. But all right, there's your drone. It's bright red. Just let's break that. And then the one you've probably been all waiting for. The fire car. I call it Venus. If you don't know, I um, when I was little, I watched Fireman Sam, and they had a car called Venus. So this reminds me of it. It was just a little car. Right, you guys, a little car. It has the stickers right there, and it has this front thing so it doesn't crash and stuff. It hits that instead, but not really. There's no doors on it, surprisingly. Uh, there's a little compartment right here where you could get stud shooters. There's another area where you can get traffic cones. So now they're doing a fire rescue. You just put those traffic cones right there, whatever. Yeah, they go in here. And it has an axe on the side, which was also supposed to be over here. But I lost the other axe, so I'm just going to have to go find that. And uh, you can also take this. Pull it up. So now you can act, you can control your own car. Look there, I'm not even touching it. I'm not even touching this car. How is it moving? Oh my gosh, no way. But yeah, see it just has a long rope. Then you have to, you know, just put that in. I never use this because, again, it takes like a lot of time. I don't like using this. It makes a big mess. It makes the thing look dirty, so I actually have to take my time. And do it, but since this is a review, I'm just gonna rush and put this back in. Probably wondering why are you pulling it back out now? Because I just forgot to do this. Then you tighten it up. It tastes like that, and a neat feature this has is right here. So as you can see, the uh, has a siren noise and lights flash. Uh, it's just basically. Oh yeah, you can also shoot this. I forgot to tell you. Oh my gosh! The other day I was able to get this so easy. It's just a thing, and yeah. So now let's look at the fire station. So we first we got an area for the drone to sit on, of course, just a little. Area you can sit it in. Uh, this thing right here, the car, you can put that in the garage. And you can actually pull it down a garage door. 
like that. Pretty cool. It's transparent, so you get to see right there. Open it. Close it. Uh, they're missing one up top of here. I noticed that. Uh, it's not me, because it required 11. Yeah, acquired 11 of these transparent blue pieces, so yeah, they're missing one right there. But yeah, overall, it's still pretty cool. It's a garage door. I always like the garage doors. I mean, my Lego Batmobile I did a review on, I tried to fit in the garage, and when it fit, I was just so angry because I wanted to have my Lego Batmobile that I did a review on two days ago and put it in here, but it wouldn't fit. I don't know why. But yeah, <laughs> that's just a little joke. I'm not stupid. I'm not retarded or anything. I know I can't go in there. But yeah, you also have a little bay right here where you could put the water ski. You also have like a kind of like a life jacket float thing right there. Uh, they put right there. You can also take this and you could put this on any side you want. So you could put it like over there, for example, or you could just have it over here or over here, which is the regular spot. So you can have it right there. You can have the orange guy right there. Go ahead and sit him in there. Just like that. You know, you can have him driving around. Wee woo, wee woo, woo. Wee woo, wee woo. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah. You also have, like, a little warning thing. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the car. Uh, it is one-seater. So you just open it up right there. Take your firefighter. And you just put them in the car. Jeez. When was it so hard to put these figures in cars? There we go. Go back in there. You're not going to come out for like five years. Dang it. Stupid. There we go. I hate when that happens. But yeah. Also, when we look around, we see we got some windows right here. Yeah. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Ooh. So let's start from the top. So at the top, we got a little area for like the um, chief. He can sit in, he has a chair right there. He has a GPS tracker thing and a coffee mug. That's all out here it has these special windows, which are pretty cool. This is like a dispatch area too though. But yeah, then we move down here. We got a little area where you know the firefighters can chill out and they watch firefighter. And I do know this, that firefighters do have this because my dad's a firefighter and been to the fire station many times. It's, this is actually pretty accurate. Yes, they have a little area where they can relax, of course. What do you think they're going to be working 24-7? Well, they do, but they don't get very much runs because people are safe. But yeah, you can see a firefighter right there. A little sticker. Got some uh, lights. Got popcorn right there. And you got a coffee mug. This is not a sticker. That would be a pain in the butt if it was a sticker. And we got a little area just to sit down here. Apologize for that background noise that just started. We got a little clock. And we got a phone right there as well as a light. And we got this, which was actually printed backwards. So that's pretty weird. This piece right here was printed backwards. It's not a sticker. So yeah. Unless if it was a sticker. No, it's not a sticker, but it was printed backwards. So yep. Yep, yep, a ruse. But you do got a chair, it cannot spin. And then we got a little area back here, you know, where the engine is. And if we go to the side, we got some windows right here. You can actually open. Fingers too fat. You know what? I'm smart. Yeah. So yeah, you could just open all of these. Oh my, don't shut. Okay. Yeah, you can open all those and you could go inside. To, no, I shut the window. But yeah, you could just open all those. But yeah. So that's pretty much all about the set. Well, not really. I first got to show you this. Watch, guys. This is like the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh, the door can open. Yes, the door can open right there.
yeah, the door can open, not, nothing that we've never seen before, but yeah. So, that's pretty much the set. So yeah, a great way to display this is, you know, have the figures. The dog, he goes on the side. I put him there all the time. I don't even notice the dog is there because uh, he's not noticeable. Oh! Oh, am I kind of stupid because I forgot to show you one thing. Not really, though. I'm not really stupid. Okay, here's the last thing right here is a little area with a garbage can that's on fire. Garbage can that's on fire and some newspapers. It's hard to put these little fire things on the newspapers right there. So yeah, you can have that. You can bring the fire engine out, go and shoot those off. It's really hard, but I do not want to shoot them right now. We, we could just use the fire boat. <sighs> this is exactly why I do not shoot stud shooters. Okay, after taking five hours to find the stud, that's what you can do. That's why I do not like shooting studs, and they also always get lost. But yeah, so this was the firefighter set review. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And you do not have to turn on notifications because I'm I do not I post like every day. I'm doing these Lego reviews every day. But I do not have much Lego sets that are like complete. But still, I'll show you. But yeah, that was the set review. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. You do not have to turn on notifications. Uh, don't worry about that. I It's not like you need to watch every one of my videos so like other people want you to. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Wait, did I seriously forget one part? Alright, just to really quick say, uh, there's some lights over here. And there's a little antenna in the satellite right there. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, woo-woo. But yeah. So, oh, why do I forget everything about, like, this set? One more thing, guys. One more thing, I promise. Right here, it's a little saw. Right there is a little saw. You know what? Screw that. Go away. Stupid things. Yeah, right here is a little saw you can have. So, like, they're like, oh, no, we need to cut the boards. They cut the boards, and then the saw ends up in your shirt sleeve, and then you could put the saw back in its place. Yep. And then they have broken fence. Woohoo! Firefighters save the day. But yeah, that's all about this review. It's pretty cool. Uh, I give this set a nine and a half out of ten. A little things it can improve on, like maybe uh, for 60 bucks, this one's not much. I don't know. I, I think it's kind of enough, but it's not really. Like, the rooms are a little bit small. And yeah, uh, I could, uh, but yeah, you cannot fit a fire truck in here. Only the car. The car barely fits in there. You can see a bulb of it. It's hanging out. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this review... I'll leave a like and subscribe, like for the third time I said, do not turn on notifications, and yeah, have a good day everyone, bye.